All right, next one is stewardship. Stewardship is very simple. You take Melting Remnant, you take Little Fade. Now we're going in order. I've got to mentally prep myself for Pain Train. Um, we're going, what do we want to, what, what pairs best with MR here and Steward Damage? Um, maybe Wormkin? Because the spells are such high quality. We take Echo Breaks. Yeah, I think this is the play. We take uh, we take Echo Break. We take... Uh, and then we just need Firelight. Like, Firelight. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Artifact. Okay. What do we have? We have Echo Breaks. We have Echo Infusions, we have Subsuming Blade, and then some Thick Stewards. I think it's just Notice Stone. Does, uh, I don't think the artifact affects their... No, they still just have the same stat buffs. So we're going to take other units and put them onto Stewards. That's going to be the play. I th Oh man, Faulty Loader might be the play here. Just because... Uh, well, no, we don't, because then we can't kill Little Fade, unless we get Intrinsic on Subsuming Blade. So basically, we have two options here. We can get Intrinsic on Subsuming Blade, so that we can instantly kill... Um, instantly kill the uh, Little Fade. The alternative is that we take Notice Stone, and we try to get lots of stats... That's true, Echo Break can also kill on turn one. I think we go Notice Stone, but we don't have any, we have no Consume cards right now. Yeah, we'll take Faulty Loader. It's not very good. Let's not pretend it's a good artifact. Oh, okay. Do we dare do an Icarus build into this setup? I think Eternal Flame is just better. And then we pivot into, uh, hopefully we can pivot into Firelight. I, I, I love Eternal Flame. Like, it's really good, but it's not good with this build. <laughs> We're going to have to go non-steward. Firelight's the only way you can make uh, advanced prototype work. And the problem is, is that we're not going to have any money. We're going to have no money to uh, buy better units. This is the issue. All right, well, uh, we are going to be able to kill you, kind of. We're going to play these both down here. You know what I like? No, 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 we're not going to kill. We're not going to kill. We're going to do this. Do this. Solid. Okay. Then. Um, play you here. You would instantly kill him. Play you behind. Extra 10 HP. Firelight is one of the upgrade paths and it increases the stats of all units behind or on the same floor as Little Fade when Little Fade dies. It's incredibly important for advanced prototype builds. So of course, why would we have gotten it? <laughs> Let's play you out here. And uh, we'll give you more HP. Play these both here, I think. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Killing everything. So a prototype will get us at least to the point where we can then pivot. So then what do we want to pivot into? We want to pivot into Harvest. Infused Draft is also pretty good, though. If we're going to go Harvest... We'll do that. We'll take an infused draft. I oh, this is just plus ten damage or plus ten HP. I'm just wondering how important scaling health is in this build. 
Depending on what unit we get as our harvest unit, it could be very important. Could also be very worthless. I'll take it. I'm going to assume the infusions are going to be relevant. Um, so we'll, we'll start with this. Okay, now we go Wormkin Banner first. Sweep would be great. I, I don't mind the Bog Deep Cocoon here. I'm just thinking, like, what if we put this onto, like, a Harvest Baron? It's just a better large stone that then kills all the units on the floor. We get multi-strike, maybe two multi-strikes. And if some miracle we do the reverse, so we could actually even do the reverse. We could put Bog Deep Cocoon, and we could put a Harvest onto it as well, and rely on other things to kill things until Bog Deep breaks. I think I like it a lot more than Kinhost Carapace. So we'll take it. Besides, we haven't unlocked it yet. We might as well do that. We, we could actually make the thickest steward. <laughs> a thick, trampling steward. <laughs> kind of funny. Um, but I don't think we're going to do that. Is this actually good? If we get four... Charged Echoes, that's an extra 12 by 2 damage. I think we just want thicker stewards. Maybe not, though. Maybe we want them to die so we can bring, so we can res them. I don't know. Kind of tough. I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on upgrading units right now. We're probably also not going to do this. The only thought could be, what if we already put Molten Encasement on Molten Encasement and just get Super Encasements? I just don't know if it's very good right now. Um, spell chain, also not particularly appealing. I think we hold off on shards for now. We'll try to get them later. Wait until we get a better unit. Okay. The advantage here is that we have an insane early game. Like our early game is just massively strong. It's just late game that it gets a little weird. All right, let's go. One. Two. We'll play Bog Deep in the middle. Hey, Confucius! Welcome to the stream. And crew. How's it going? This guy's gonna die. I feel like just getting a second train steward here makes sense. And then... We could put a train steward up top. Like this. Play you here. That seems okay. And then, I mean, I would love to get this guy out, like hatch him. I think it's like incredibly unlikely, but we're gonna try. Well, we're actually not gonna try. We're just gonna try to kill here. I think putting Little Fate in the back might even just get the kill. Yeah, too strong. They're too strong early. Late game, they're gonna be trash, but for now, they're holding us, holding us down until we can get some better stuff. Oh man, I love the Entombed plus the Molten Encasement combo. It's so good for getting damage. And then we just get Eternal on it. I think that is worth trying. Wicklash is also interesting. The only issue is that if we put uh, Burnout onto Bogdeep Cocoon, it could die. But let's take this. Don't really love shelter here. I'm gonna skip. And... So this is very interesting. What if we get super bog flies? What if we get super bog flies, pivot into... We're currently on Eternal because uh, why would the game give me Firelight? when I'm doing uh, advanced prototype. Wouldn't make sense. Game Game's thinking thinking bigger. Yeah, I love the endless, but I think uh, with specifically an advanced prototype build, I would obviously much, much rather have Firelight, but it's fine, it's fine. Um, we're going egg build. We have two eggs. And uh, my idea is to merge Bog Deep onto Bog Chrysalis. I think this is a good setup. We have huge bog flies that then trample. 
We can give them multi-strike. Man Fan Hoang, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for the subscription. The reverse is also interesting, but not as good, I don't think. The other thought is that we could just put Giraffe onto this, but then it dies. If we get Endless, we could have Infinite out of them. We have no way to break eggs is currently the problem. And so smaller egg is easier egg. And that's why I'm thinking of putting the Bog Deep Cocoon onto the Bog Chrysalis. Snippy the Scissors, thank you for the follow. I'm just kind of at a loss here. We're going to go left path. And we're going to start by making Subsuming Blade. Oh man, I'd love a minus two on Subsuming Blade. I think we just start minus ones on Echo Breaks. And we're not going to put plus ten on anything. I'm also not going to reroll. It's too expensive. We need them for unit upgrades. Uh, definitely not going to take a boon for 50. What would we merge here? What would we merge here? Like an Echo Infusion? Double Echo Infusions? Get plus 20 for Extract 1? Or we get like an Echo Break... Subsuming blade? No, I think it's I think it's double echo infusions. It's gonna be two costs to get plus twenty for extract one. You can't combine tombs. It's only spells. What do we want to combine? We could infuse primitive mold with something. That could be pretty hilarious. Should we do it for science? Let's do it for science. Let's get this echo break and the subsuming. What did we get? It's a consume piercing slay increase by three. So it's just a worse subsuming blade. <laughs> oh, it deals it deals one damage per echo, and then it deals five damage. It's just it's just okay. It's slightly better subsuming blade, <laughs> but it doesn't. It's not infused. I thought it would be infused. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> this game. So what's cool about this is that we can just play, uh, we're, we're going to play um, Little Fade no matter where Talos is because it will always kill Talos, or Talos will always kill Little Fade, Little Fade will always be quick. So we're going to go Bog Deep here and then go Bop this, that's two down, ten to go. Uh, we can play Egg up here as well. Little Fade's doing 25. I mean, these guys aren't any any risk at all. We're going to play you here. We can play you as well. Although you would just die. Probably be better to just play you here. And then second egg. Plus this. Okay. Primitive Mold. Gets back the Giraffe. We can Echo Infuse for Net Null. We can hit you there. And... I mean, I guess we just kill one of these guys. Eggs uh, do not share. It's always the front one that gets it first. Nope, they are unwilling to share. Uh, we Echo Break. Gets us one. Play you to kill one of these. Uh, play Train Steward, one, two, three, four, to kill two of these. Cool. Oh, we're gonna take five damage to the Pyre. 
Also, little fades not dying. This is a problem. Let's bring back our buddy. We can bop you. And then play this train steward here. Take three more damage. And then we've just got a few more waves until we get... Uh, okay, we one more and Egg comes alive. And I think that's probably enough. But uh, we'll see. I mean, Bog Deep does have... What is it, 110 damage? 90 damage. Plus 70 HP. That's 900 damage already, so I think we're good. Uh, but just to be extra fun, we can play this. Get another Bog Deep. <laughs> uh, play you. Then play you. You cannot fit the Bog Deep. Too fat. Bog Deep too fat. Oh, so close. 12 shell real quick. <laughs> Let me just get some shells out real quick. Oh my gosh, Devourer of Death. Has such a good essence. What you talking about, Arnian? I think we take the Bower of Death and put it onto the uh, Molten Encasement. That might be better. AoE is so good. We could also do the Reverse, but I think the Reverse is just bad. But like the Essence is good. Is the What do we need more of? We have, we have zero AoE. I guess we have targeted damage with Charged Echoes, but that's not really AoE. I think we take it and we merge it onto one of our dudes there. We could put Bog Deep onto Bog Deep. <laughs> I think we don't take any of this. Uh, the Kraz, thank you for the follow. Hope you're enjoying the stream. We're gonna start with extra capacity. We just need a lot more infusions or we need, oh, hello. This is terrible because we would lose our egg. This is not terrible. We would get heal from it. No, this is this is the heal. This gives us heal. What is uh what do we get out of average size trinket? Does anyone remember? What do you get back? You get back um all the all damage spells have piercing. That's actually worth it. Can we take Corrupted Cloud? I think it's too scary, right? If we can get Thick Egg, if we can... I guess we could put it onto the Bog Chrysalis. Put the Bog Deep Cocoon onto the Bog Chrysalis. Then we get Thicker Bog Flies. They're much easier to break out. Mm, I'm going to go for it here. I'm going to take these top two. And we're going to be very careful... We're not going to take the Broken Wheel, because Broken Wheel would just kill all of our units instantly. Um, let's go unit upgrades. We want something Harvest. Let's see what we are going to have for upgrades here. We do have Multi-Strike. This is not really what I wanted. Uh, we skip. Okay, so now I'm wondering, do we just keep the Bog Deep here and get Multi-Strike on it? But how do we keep it alive? How do we keep you alive? And what do we merge with you? This is our last, that was our last banner. So we're going to put this onto the egg, the Bog Chrysalis. We're going to merge Bog Deep Cocoon onto the Chrysalis. And I think we just give it extra HP. No, 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 we don't because we're going to we're going to get HP later. 
I think we wait and we upgrade here maybe, or at some point we try to find another, maybe here. We do another unit upgrade later. Uh, but first priority is to get this, this earlier egg playable. Because this is really solid. This is a 20 by 2. It's going to come out on the two bog flies that are both going to be really big. They're going to have trample. They're going to have multi-strike. And they're going to get uh, value based off of charged echoes. That all seems really good. And then I honestly might even put large stone on them. I don't know. So this would also be really good specifically on our subsuming blade. Then we can hold it over. Okay. Um... I still don't know how this is going to win. <laughs> this is still a mystery. Actually, no, what we can do is we can replay the egg over and over again. Because once the egg breaks, we can then reform it and play a second egg and a third egg and a fourth egg. That's That might be the way we do it. Reformed eggs. Uh, we're at low or medium pack shard level with two incredibly difficult artifacts. What, is the, what are the odds that we can actually kill things? I think it's quite low. And I don't know if there's any artifact that's like, oh man, if we don't get it, we're going to lose. So we're going to play it like this. We can use Echo Breaks to get rid of Damage Shield. Um, play you here. Echo Break. Uh, Play you first, because you're going to die anyway, and then play you here. Get stealth rolling. Get an extra charge that goes. Alright. So we only have to get... We only have to get a little bit... A couple more charged echoes. And suddenly... You're killing him anyway. Oh, but we gotta... Hold on. We're going to put Little Fade up top. Okay, we are one. Oh, we get an infusion. Amazing. Okay, we can play this. So that we can play the infusion. Play Little Fade. Little Fade's not dying. Uh, you are dying. Play Little Fade. Now we're killing both. We can... Oh, Egg's coming out. Egg's gonna... Egg comes out before. Let's still... Uh... Oh, man. Do we infuse? I think we still infuse. We pierce kill... Zero damage. Zero... Zero... What? Zero... One damage. How... We... Oh, because has a charged Echoes. Did it gain? Did it gain? I, I didn't see. Is it at 5 now? 0 plus 3 damage. Okay. Okay. How are we doing? We can play Devourer of Death, who will also die. And we'll give a Charged Echoes. I think we play this first. Getting Super Steward. Play the draft in the back as well. And I think we play Devourer of Death up here. It's gonna die, and everything dies, we get our egg. Boom, bog flies. I will admit they're not the they're not the biggest bog flies you've ever seen, but in a pinch they're gonna do the job. We can play you as well. Subsuming where? It does it twice. Interesting. Well, I think we kill this guy. Are you dying? Bop, bop, bop. You are dying. We'll play you at the bottom. Took six damage to the fire so far. That's not bad. 
Okay, start with this. Big steward. Big steward coming out up top. Kill in the front unit. Uh, if we hit the back liner, he might die. He's dying. Amazing. Play you here with another train steward. 185. Okay. Yeah, certainly. Okay. Play this. Big steward coming out. Blocking the hits. Tomb behind. Little fade in the back. Killing it, guys. We took one hit to the pyre. One hit to the pyre. Get thick. Bow. Oh wow, Votaveri. I mean, right now it's really solid. It's it's essence is endless. We could just get endless now. We could just get endless now. What would we get it on? We would put endless onto uh, probably a molten encasement, and then merge merge the entombed explosive with the devourer of death, and try to get endless on it as well. But even if it doesn't get endless, we can get uh, we can reform it. Um, how many more palaces do we have? We have one, two more palaces. I think we take him. Plus, he's really good right now because he's going to die every turn and he's going to give us a free um, charged echoes. Don't take this. Don't take this. Accelerated incubation. I actually don't think it's good here. I think our we don't need we we have we have small eggs. We don't need big eggs. I guess oh you know what we could have done is we could have duped our eggs and then maybe then it's good. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to go uh, Spell Upgrades and Removal here. We definitely don't need this many Train Stewards. Four should be enough. For now, let's take a Relic. Uh, this is okay, because we don't have very much money. So let's uh, let's use that to try to like get some value out of our cards we're going to draft. Um... I think we just continue to make more Echo Breaks free. We have nothing to double stack, and we continue to save money on spells. Consume, or, uh, Concealed Caverns. Build a card! Okay, hold on. Uh, a buff effect is going to be damage. Or health. We'll leave it be. I think it's that increases card draw, because it's going to be half. The money's going to be in half. Plus 10, draw plus 1. Totally fine. We put these on our eggs. I think I will... I, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it yet. For one cost, it's just fine. Yeah, super root seeds. Plus six damage is scary. For 75 coins, I think we're, we're going to take too much damage here. Okay, so, play you out. It's not what you want to see. You're killing at least one of them. Play that. Okay, then, get you out again. Would love it if you guys were doing anything valuable. Um, I mean, we're going to play both these guys. Like, we're going to play them. Our man here is dying. We need we need uh, HPs. There's HPs. We got HPs. You are not sweeping. That's good. We can play you here. We can bring back something. A train steward. Also very good. We are so close to killing this guy. Just not quite there. I'm going to play the Devourer of Death up here. Gets us another thing, and this guy's going to hit us for 15. 
Okay. Now, yield magic. And we're clearing everything. That's very good. We can get another train steward down here. That seems pretty good. Okay. So. Subsuming the backliner. No, subsuming you. Explosive. Little oil then. Little fade. Echo break. Kills everything. Play you here. Echo break. And... Echo break. Okay, scary times. Scary times. Um... How do we make sure we do as much as we can here? Uh, train Steward is going to block one, two, three hits. He will not die, actually. And then if we... You have a, you have a damage shield. If we pop you, we do a little bit more damage. Give you extra HP. Would reduce our damage. So instead, we go Little Fade, Echo Infuse. And I'm not really certain about this one. Oh, we lose. Okay, well, we lose. We're not going to restart it. I think we needed to get uh, Firelight. Like, without Firelight, this is so hard to make it work. Just didn't have good scaling. Um... We'll try it again. I still think this is a really good combo. I just think we just didn't have the scaling we needed. So this is interesting. Uh, this is our divinity counter, potentially. We have a lot of damage potential here. I think we avoid eggs. Cheater's hand. Or light's gift. I think it's Cheater's Hand. We take the flexibility. I just want Firelight. Why is this so hard? <laughs> Please give me Firelight. Thank you. Alright, what do we have? Do we have Extract Cards? We don't currently, but we'll get some. Like, we'll take any extract card to take advantage of carving Kariska. It's just so good. And we'll keep going. Game does not want to give us uh, Firelight for some reason. Alright, so now we just have to make sure that only uh, Firelight is dying. We can kill one of them outright. That's pretty good. We can play you here. Play you here. You're gonna kill two of them. Good stuff. Get some charged echoes in there for fun. And we're gonna bring back Little Fade here. Kill two more. Bop. Bop. And bop. Okay. Little Fade's coming back. Get a second one. One here as well. I don't know if we're killing the boss right away. Currently not. Uh, if we daze him. Bop, bop. What if we drip fall one of these train stewards? Adds another hundred and something damage. Uh, we'll play you up here. Hit you. 
and we're good. Any train steward that comes back just kills. In fact, this guy just kills by himself. No. <laughs> Still Singer never showed up. We'll just try to get him randomly throughout the run. Uh, I don't mind the tube explosive. Also, don't mind hollow drippings. The thing is, like, the longer you get into the run, the less and less uh, this matters. Extract. That's what we want. Plus, it's extra damage. Um. The problem with Kin Host is that uh, his his summon trigger would be pretty good on a steward though. Plus ten, plus ten is not bad. This is also not bad on a steward. Oh man, I'm gonna take the Kin Host Carapace and put it onto a steward. I think the plus 10 plus 10 is just good with multi-strike by default. We really want Harvest though. Harvest would be like the I Ching. Speaking of. And we're going to merge Wickless Baron onto one of our train stewards. Very first. Uh, no other things so far. We want with that one steward. Nah, we leave it at this for now. That was really good. I think uh, if we can get that harvest one pretty early on in the fight, we'll be just fine. Nice. Always feels good when you can win a. Oh wow! We <laughs> opening hand, Wickless Baron Train Steward. I guess that's pretty good. We can go you, you. Uh, primitive mold, echo break, just kills the backliner. Oh, you know what? Echo break, reform. That's so good, I'm going to redo. Because that that is such a huge instant buff <laughs> in this fight. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Bop. And then we can put you in the back. Oh dang, you're still not killing the guy. But it's fine, like it's still net positive. Oh, I should have put you in the front. Hold on. Let's play this right. He dies to the spikes, giving you more damage. Ugh, it's just, just play it right, Nate. Here we go. You, you, bop, reform. Front, we kill the dude. <laughs> there we go. We did it. Bring him back again. Bring her back again. We can kill her. But I think we're going to greed here and go bop. 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 Kill the front unit. And uh, you should be pretty easy here to kill. We're going to do this. Oh, wait, we can drip fall. Play you in the back. Get you down here. Get wrecked, friend. How are we doing? Killing the boss. That's what you love to see. Also, get dazed. Jerk. Good fight. So when you play the first turn correctly, then it works just fine. It's when you don't play it correctly that you have problems. We could put a draft onto another one as well. Give it an extra multi-strike. Uh, yeah, definitely. Echo Infusion. Fantastic stuff. Um, we could get another Remnant Banner. Like, our spells are just fine as they are. Oh my gosh, plus five damage on all units. Games like, we saw you struggling. 
Oh my gosh! Plus 15, plus 30! Plus 15, plus 30, plus 3 burnout! What? Oh my gosh! That's way better than Kinho's Carapace on one of these train stewards. Oh! That's really good. We could get piercing on something. I think we just want minus two on mortal entrapment. And yeah. We just need hold over on it now. I think none of this is actually very good. We think maybe take quick. Not gonna take spreading spores. We're gonna skip. And I don't think we want resolve add spikes. That seems really awkward. And we increase capacity by two. So that we can always put uh, two trains or three train stewards on the same floor as Little Fade. We're gonna merge the last of them, and then I think we're gonna eat all other train stewards. I mean, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's okay. Do we just like get Kin Host now because it probably just because it like is a one capacity? No, 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 no. We play Kin Host somewhere else. We do kill here. We play you. We kill this. We play Little Fate up top. Let me wait. Okay, here's one. It's not the one we wanted, but it's the one we got. We can play you here as well. Which we're gonna do, honestly, we're gonna play this guy. We're gonna play this guy... ...here. And then get extra damage out of the steward. Play this as well. There we go. Sick. Okay. Then... We're gonna play you. Hold on, we, so we drip fall you. And we play you. Okay. Gotta bring back some guys here. We have three dead things. We can only bring back one. We get Little Fade. That's good. I mean, she's one of the best ones to get right now. She's gonna die immediately. That's also very good. Uh, this guy is very scary. Uh, you are also... I think we want to kin host you, though. And Echo Break you. Our man here is very scary. We gotta get Little Fade back. Which is a very difficult proposition to do right now. We can also we can also put you guys you in here. Let's start with this. Entombed explosive. Okay, little fade. Got it. Okay, so then we play you. Oh, we did that in the wrong order. It's fine. It's fine. Um, you know what? Hit this guy. He's a real jerk. We're gonna take two damage. Uh, please bring back Little Fade. We didn't get it, it's fine. Get down here, just do as much value as you can, play you in the back. And... Honestly, give you extra HP. Smack you. You're all fine. Hit you. 120, okay. So we're in a little bit of a sticky spot because we actually need to get Little Fade. Do we need to get Little Fade? Hold on. Play you here. What if we play Kinho's Carapace in the back? And we try to do it this way. Is that enough damage? It's gotta be pretty close. It's a 65-60. That's five hits by itself. That's 300 damage by itself. 
Plus it's going to block two hits and take another 70-70. I think this is enough. I think we just kill. Also, Mortal Entrapment. Easy. Excellent. Okay. Um, Sack Wreck is also pretty good. Especially against Seraph the Diligent. But Wax and Spike. Mmm, improved Wax and Spike though. I think we take improved Wax and Spike. Any of these we want to put onto... No, they're all too fat. I don't really want Etch. Don't really want any of this. Yeah, we just skip. And then we take Capacity. We're going to take Capacity twice. And hopefully then, if we trim out everything except for the main stewards that we need... Um, speaking of... I don't think we want the Wormkin Banner, but I would like to get unit upgrades. We have... These stewards that have really good base, but don't have any uh, unit upgrades yet. Okay, let's go right path. We'll probably not take any of these either. <gasps> stream, stream bad. Hold on a second. Dang, sorry guys. You're gonna see this on YouTube, it's gonna be fine. We're back. Yeah, they changed servers, it happens. There's nothing I can do about it. It's the servers in Frankfurt change over at midnight. So every time at midnight, it just changes over. There's nothing I can do. On my end, internet was clean and it stays clean. It's that they switch, um, there are three different Frankfurt servers and the one that I normally go with, it always shuts down at midnight, and then it takes a minute for it to readjust to the other server. So I, yeah, I don't. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. It just is. It is what it is. But uh, I have started recording the stream so that at least on the YouTube video when it comes out, you don't get the stutter. But apologize for that. Always happens at midnight. <laughs> Sometimes it's smoother than other days, but today was uh, not so smooth. Sorry about that. All right, let's uh, let's jump in here. We're gonna get um, rid of our final man here. Put this onto a final steward. Ah, uh, we did say we want to merge the draft onto one of them, though. Hmm. I don't know about that now. I'm trying to think if that actually is worth it. We definitely want extra multi-strike, and I think we want it onto the scaling steward. Just drafted Steel Singer without. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Um, I think on this Wickless Baron one, we want to have more starting damage. Maybe, maybe we don't. Plus damage per charged echoes also seems kind of bad. Honestly, we gotta just take. We gotta take them. We're going to put plus 10 here. Going to put plus 3, plus 3 here. And we're going to go with this. Okay. Rank 2 Firelight adds a lot of value. And I'm just hopeful that with all of the multi-strikes, we can somehow manage it. We're probably going to have to play on the bottom floor, though. But that, that's that should be okay. Extra armor, I think we can deal with. The, we might have, have to play on the bottom floor because the boss gets too big if we wait. Um, but then, you know, you get a turn like this and you're like... No. This is really unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna play you here. And then... Oh, we can't play spells either. Dang. Okay. We don't get either of the good ones. Not what you want to see. Um, we'll put them out here.
Greed. Okay. Here's the two good ones, or two of the good ones, I should say. Um, and they should together do enough damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're good now. Uh, we can bring back... 35, 35... No, plus 15. Well, why, why play it up there? We just play it here. Put you in front. And... I guess bop this guy to kill these. Cool. Seems good. Alright, we can bring back both, which is amazing. We're gonna need it. Um, one. Two. Little fade. Get you out here as well. Give you Echo Infusion to give us more Ember. We can just daze this guy if we want, but like, why? And we just play Wax and Spike for extra damage and burn out. Cool. And I think we're at the happy point now. Um, we're just missing the uh, Wickless Baron version. Everything's dying. Uh, we can block a hit here. One hit, exactly. Um, I mean, this doesn't matter. I guess we can block some damage. Okay, this is where things get a little bit weird. We have to play a lot of stuff on the bottom floor, like, right now. So we have to play you here. Oh, man. Now, I guess we play you up front. Alternatively, we could... Oh, you know what we could do? We drip fall this one. Play you here. Give you this. And then... Just try to get some damage out on this guy. It's these backliners that are just going to kill us. They're going to wreck us if we don't get any uh, scaling at all. We can get a second one up front. 81 damage. We extract. 115 damage. Uh, I think we're going to need to reform something. I cannot play the steward. Very scary. Very scary. Okay, uh, we can do this though. That's going to be huge. We can also reform twice. Big steward up front. No. Yeah, big steward up front. Mortal entrapment. Gets the kill. Holy close. Oh, wow, that was close. We took no pyre damage though. A Fatal Melting... No. Just not good enough. Seem similar with this. We don't need Eternal Kinstone. Return Soul... Return Soul is actually pretty good. It allows us to grab a uh, Reform if we don't have one. Uh, here I think we need to go Spell Upgrades. We can remove two of the bad stewards. I don't want resin removal. Like I, oh, you know what? I, I was only thinking about Seraph. You're right. It actually is really good against the last divinity. Well, there you go. Dang. Um, double stack on wax and spike would give us eight burnout. Uh, free echo breaks seem okay. Eight burnout. I mean, uh, do we even want the damage buff? I mean, it's okay. I think we just want this for huge burnout. It's really, it's a lot of, it's for four extra burnout. Ah. Or this. Six days. Six days is a lot of days. Oh my gosh. 
I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the days. And we're gonna leave it like this for now. Yeah, I was not even thinking about Last Divinity. That would have made total sense to take it for the Last Divinity. Um Remnant Pact is definitely useful. Now we just want intrinsic on it. Because the thing is we can guarantee we can guarantee little Fade dies every turn. Non-boss units get plus six. I think we're okay here, but it's 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 a little scary. It's a little scary. We get the Lady of the House one though, that's pretty huge. It's already almost killing this guy. Give you extra damage shield. We can even daze the backliner. It doesn't even matter which one we daze, it's the same. Play this as well, and then just daze you. Cool. You will be very easy to kill, for example. Um, draft as well. Problem is that it kind of muddies our uh, unit pool or our reform pool a bit. Okay. Primitive mold. Okay. Then, return soul to bring back a primitive mold. Little Fade, excellent. So Little Fade can go here, giving us even more damage. We can kill this guy outright if we want, or we can... I think we do that, and then we bop this guy in the back. Cool. All right, little fade, please. Little fade, little fade, please. Oh, you love to see it. Do this, kill you. Hmm. Kill you. We gotta find a way to kill this top unit. Um, that will do. Oh, it's so close. Two damage. But we gotta we gotta go like this. We're gonna take twelve damage to the pyre. No, we're gonna take fourteen damage to the pyre. How are we doing down here though? It's not bad. If we daze once, I think we might have it. Uh we can also drip fall this guy down. I'm just trying to think what's more valuable. There's a draft as well. 640. I think if we drip fall and wax and spike, we might have it. Nice. Okay, we took 14 damage for the trial. I think that's absolutely fine. Stealth is interesting. Man stealth is interesting. If we could get holdover, that's another way to just never have to worry about it. Never have to worry about taking damage. Uh, we're probably going to go Merchant of Magic again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can get minus one and holdover, that's really good. This is also a way to just fill it up instantly, but why? Like, we don't... We don't need to do that. We don't... I mean, we we do extract a bit, but it's not like... A huge core part of our build. Um, Jack Strips. Is useful. When a minus one, we want to get hold over. Hold over is the spell we want. I don't really want to remove consume from anything. Um, although this would be kind of hilarious because then you would just get... Anyway, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to do this for holdover. 
Okay. And then we just always play it. You play it before you play your, uh... Before you play your dude. There we go. Artifact. Oh, conscription. Or Light's Gift. If we play Top Floor, Light's Gift. Oh, but then... Then, uh... We might not be able to kill off Little Fade. Votive Key is also, like, a thing, potentially, but... Oh, you know what would be cool about Votive Key? Uh, is that not only does it make sure Little Fade has Endless, but Votive Key would also mean that when these stewards get, like, insanely stacked and then they die, we can play them on higher floors. I think that's actually worth it here. Because we have to play on the bottom floor for both Fell and Divinity. And I think that's then the setup here we want to do. So... Obviously not how we want this to start, but it is how it's going to start. So I guess just deal, get endless on you, hit you. And this is just an unfortunate start. Okay. I'm just gonna let these guys go. I'm gonna try to kill them with something else. So we want, here's what we want. We want endless on you now. We don't want endless on little fade yet. And we want a better train steward to go with uh, this floor. So we're gonna play you here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What the hell is this? We play the train steward on the bottom. I had no idea we weren't killing everything, sorry. I wasn't even looking at the numbers, I just assumed. Oh my gosh, that was a complete nightmare. Play you. Yeah, oof is right. Big oof. Okay. Then we play Big Steward. Little Fade. Kills the front one, you kill the back two. Yeah, that's, that's mandatory. We cannot have that much trash in our deck. <laughs> okay. It's actually perfect. We can play. And then play Little Fade. Which means that now Little Fade will have Endless every time. Uh, if we Echo Infuse Little Fade, it will block more damage. But I think better is just to go Echo Infuse you. And then Drip Fall you. Cool. Yep. That's life. Play you out. Uh, daze you. And then just wax and spike. Hit you. Oh, I should've hit. Should've hit uh, Seraph. Or not Seraph, fell. Play you again. Echo transfer. Um, oh, hey, look at this. We could bring him down. I don't think that's actually good, though. Unless we can drip fall immediately, it's not worth it. We'll just play you here. The question is, what about Entombed Explosive? I don't think it's a very good unit. I'd rather get the Draft in there. In the mix. Um, we could just put it up front, though. Blocks the hit. Okay. Lady of the house. This is when we want to start this. And... Primitive Mold. Again, just getting more damage. Mm -hmm. Did we play that in the wrong order? We played that in the wrong order, didn't we? Whoopsies. Uh, uh, 
also did not play the... Uh... We're just going to have to assume this is going to work. <laughs> Hopefully we just get enough damage. Luckily this guy is at- oh my gosh, we're just killing. Look at that. What a boss. No big deal. <laughs> we're doing one, 186 by 3 is pretty good. Intent on death. Uh, yeah. Even if we only hit it once, it's still good. And we now increase capacity again. We choose a divine artifact. Um, divine infused mallet. Trader's quill. Trader's quill hits exactly one, two, three, four, five. Ah, that's actually not bad. Yeah, super trader's quill. Why do you hate this event? It's only positive. Yeah, it's temporary. But it's not even an event you have to, to go for. Like, you can just, just get it naturally. Yeah, your true doesn't linger, but you don't even have to go to a concealed cavern for it. You just randomly get it sometimes. I feel like that's completely reasonable. Um, we're going to go right path. Try to get at least one or more solid. Oh, another multi-strike. Another multi-strike on big steward here. And then just generic stats on our final steward. All right, and then we're gonna definitely go removal and yeet out the last stewards. Um, a random wormkin would be best, except for that one. That one's pretty bad. And, I mean, it's not guaranteed, but it's looking pretty good right now. With the stealth, with all the other stuff, I feel like I feel like there's a really good possibility here. So this is really interesting. We could go for consume removal. No, I don't think we do. I think we just want actual, like, straight up removal. We just use intent on death one time, it'll do its thing, and then we'll be happy. I don't believe with all of the strikes we're going to get, we're going to have basically eight strikes on the floor between our main stewards here. Yeah, these three cover eight strikes together. I just did triple Ilgorgon. That was my last build, and it was pretty good. This should be okay. We do a lot of damage. We can play in the top floor here because there's no trash coming in. We can even hosting kin the backliners. So let's just, we just got options here. We got options. Um, only issue right now is that, so we're gonna pop you. What if we knock this guy back? No, we gotta, we gotta try to kill this guy. We do 60 to you. Uh, we play, We let Little Fade die down here. I don't know why I'm even like wondering about where to play Little Fade. You just play Little Fade down here and it dies, and it's fine. And then we're good. Okay. Uh, we gotta get a steward. Where's our steward? Please? Please draw into a steward. Problem is we have two endless cards. We're only drawing three cards. This is the uh, this is the issue. Okay, there's two units. Let's play our two units. We die immediately. Okay, so we can't do it like that. We have to we have to not play stealth. We have to we have to not play stealth, and we have to play. Um, Little fade in the top. This doesn't really matter, but we're gonna play it. Because we need to get to our units faster. So we get Wickless Baron in. It's 
pretty good. And then what we want is a way to kill off Little Fade, which we can do. Start with that. We can also uh, kill the backliner. In fact, well, okay, we can do a lot of stuff. So we can go... Bop, bop. Kill, reform, draft has got to be it. Kill, reform. Oh, he's endless. Damn it. <laughs> uh, maybe we just keep the, the uh, stealth. Like that. Hit ya, play this. This is very scary. This is very, very scary. Okay. This would kill the backliner. This would stun the frontliner. I mean, we have to get units out. Like, this is mandatory. Play you in the back. Echo and fuse. Is he still killing us? 18 times 3 is 54. He just kills us still. Did we just lose because we were stupid? We might have just lost because we were stupid. One last thought. One last thought. I think we can uh, bop the frontliner rather than the backliner. Like that. Play you. Don't play engulfed in smoke. Drip fall. Okay. Play you. Like that. Then give you extra damage. Play the giraffe. Kill you. That looks a lot better. Okay. Then. This is not the train steward we want, but it is the train steward that we got. So. Uh, we play you here. Play you up front. Um... We're killing everything. Echo and Fuse. This train steward. To then get us even bigger wax and spikes. Which then immediately kills the frontliner, which then keeps the steward alive. Because of the the consume thing. Look at that. Boss. Okay. Alright, it's a little awkward. Um, we want Lady of the House steward it. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We're good. We play this to bring back a primitive mold, getting us little fade. Um, everything's dying. This is very good. I think we even block up front with you, but it seems like that's unnecessary. We now have endless little fade, so that's that's fine. Let's. What if we have one of these guys die to get a better statted one up there? Like, what if we? You're endless. There's a good chance we get a reform here. We're gonna get back one two units as well, though. 
I mean, it's fine. If, even if it doesn't work, it's still okay. Let's get you in here. Because if we can reform him later, it's still really good. Maybe even get the kin host one behind just to do extra damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. So, Primitive Mold brings back Super Steward. Super Steward's going in front. Little Fade first for Endless. Then Super Steward. Then we kill this guy. Because he's a real jerk. Now Super Steward is living. And other Super Steward... It's just going to get a little bit of damage in. Let's put these two together instead. And if we can't kill off Little Fade... Oh, Little Fade has Burnout. So we definitely play Little Fade here, I think. Oh man, now I don't know. Now I don't know, because like, right, the problem right now is that like... He just kills. He just kills everything. I mean, we start with this. That seems really good. I mean, I think if we just play Little Fade down here and Intent on Death, I think we just win. And then Dripfall? Yeah, that was it. Okay. So that took a little bit of finessing. <laughs> As all Ring 7s tend to. And then we get resin removal. Easy. Alright, we gotta remove cards. We have way too many cards here. Uh, as much as I'd love to go spell upgrades, we have to remove. We have to remove the other train steward, that's not good. We have to remove our draft, which is not good. And we might remove again. Plus 15 will not affect the difficulty. And we could get Pyre Armor, I think just uh, Base Charge. I think it's Pyre, Pyre Wall. That was not worth it. But it's done, it's happened. We need no unit upgrades. What we need is removal, unless we get like a Bangarang upgrade. Cleansing Water is very good. It's, it's very good. However... Getting rid of some cards that are not useful for us might be better. Like Drip Falls are not particularly great. Remnant Pact is less useful now. Explosive Tomb is not particularly great. I guess we could use it later on as a way to just kind of deal some extra damage earlier, but... If the problem is just, it's just we have to get to our stewards quickly, and they're not priority units. We have to wait for them to show up in the deck. Yeah, I think it's too important that we get the stuff earlier. And out of all the cards, I think it's the drip falls that add the least amount of value. Maybe remnant pact as well, but remnant pact consumes. Like it's just easy to get rid of. We're getting rid of. We're getting rid of both drip falls. <laughs> Get rid of both Drip Falls and buff up our Entombed Explosive with some stats. And it's going to just be on its own floor, doing its own thing. We'll reform it occasionally. It's like whatever, man. Just please opening hand steward. Please opening hand steward. One time. Okay. We got an opening hand steward. And we have an Echo Transfer. So we want Little Fade to die in the first instance. We want Lady of the House Steward to not get hit at all. Lady of the House Steward is going to start off with 45 plus 25, 70 by 3. It's going to kill the front unit. It's not going to kill the Purifier. But I think it should be, like, if we get the Entombed Explosive or just any other thing, we can kill these guys. 
The alternative is that we wait and try to kill on on the second floor and accept that sometimes we're gonna get hit by purifiers. But I think I think we can manage this. We play you out, engulfed in smoke, primitive mold, echo transfer, and little fade. Okay, kill the big man. Oh, these guys actually just die. These guys just die naturally. Um. This is kind of awkward. Get rid of you. Get rid of this. Oh, we... Engulfed in smoke. Is gone. Well, hopefully we don't need it. <laughs> uh... Do we even play this? I don't think we even play it. Okay, we gotta get a uh, reform. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to play this to consume and kill the this guy. No, 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 hold on. Play you. Wait, what? Consumes? Oh, do we not have it anymore? We lost it. It was only for that one battle. No, wait, no, it's not. Don't we have... Oh, it was for the one battle. Dang it. I thought we had it longer than that. Uh, okay, this is awkward. We're gonna get hit nine. Would love to do more damage to you. 76 by three. What could we return? Echo transfer. Echo transfer would give us the 15 extra damage. Now we're at 88. And then if we hit this guy, 91. Oh, it's so close. Luckily, everything else is dying. Okay. This guy's not dying. We have to bop him. We have to play you. We have to get rid of two of these. My gosh. Okay. Finally, finally we get a second steward. Get in there. It actually does nothing. Doesn't change anything. Holy crap. Our lack of draw is just so bad. We're just dying? We're just dying. Shit, how do we do this? Like, I knew that our draw was bad. I just was not expecting it to be so bad. It's so bad. Um, how do we do this? I gotta think about this. We just don't get the train stewards until so late. Okay, well, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Um, we're just never gonna play primitive molds. Uh, engulfed in smoke, we have to play. Some, uh, crap. We needed to play it. <sighs> yeah, stewards are super late to the party. I think we have to play Little Fate every single turn, and we just play it with Endless. We don't worry about getting Endless on the, uh, train stewards. So, we're gonna play... We're gonna play like this. We're gonna go bop, 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 bop. Okay. Only issue now is that now, uh... Yeah, Engulfed in Smoke comes back. Where is Little F Oh. We have to play Little Fate first, because Little Fate needs to have Endless. We have to get rid of Engulfed in Smoke onto a random floor. Or we just honestly, we just outright play it, get rid of it. We cannot keep it for this fight. It's It slows down our draws too much. This is the play. Okay. Then. Play you again. 
And we have to kill something now. Goodbye resin removal. Goodbye... 15 damage unit. Okay. Little fade. Um, you guys are both going to die anyway. Bop you down. It still doesn't matter. If for some reason this guy dies. Okay. I mean, the, the nice thing is right now. Okay, we're just play this. Take an echo transfer again. If our dude dies, which he's going to die. He's going to die right now. He is endless. We can then switch to the top floor. Which we are going to have to do. Or maybe the middle floor. No, no. We switch to the top floor. One, two. Okay. We get one less garbage. Play you. Play you. Okay. Last steward. We need you, buddy. All right, get you in there. I mean, we're gonna take 15 more damage. Like, it's not even a little bit late. They're like, at the bottom of the deck, we have a massive deck, and we have so much trash coming into our deck constantly. Kill you. Thank you. And start killing you. Because I have no idea how in the world we're going to kill uh, Seraph here. We're in a mortal entrapment. That's going to be a big part of this solution here. We're going to get all the burnout we've ever had. I mean, the good news is this... Oh my god, we're killing him. I mean, what a freaking nightmare. Oh my, oh my, all right. Well, we know we that's the worst it could ever be. So divinity cannot be worse than that. <laughs> that's the, that's the good, that's the good news. Um. Okay, well, this is an awful start. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wait a minute. It's very simple. <laughs> Boom. Six turns of uh, days. In fact, this is this is insane. Hold on. This is actually insane. We're going to go... Boom. He's not going to hit us until Relentless. Boom. It's done. We can play the top floor without any problems. Uh, in fact, what we can do, which is pretty sick, is we get... Uh, little Fade. One. 
to kill him. Okay. Stealth. None of this even matters. We can encant them all we want. And then we have the easiest last affinity fight you've last affinity fight you've ever seen. <laughs> After all that. Um Wow. Well maybe not. Maybe it's not gonna be the easiest one you've ever seen. What if I kill you? Okay. I think we hold this. Well, no, it doesn't matter. By the end, we're going to have enough burnout anyway. Just got to get to our last train steward. Still not here. Resin removal. Uh, Echo Break will kill the backliner. Is our man killing us here, though? I think our man's killing us here. How do we not die immediately? Maybe we don't stealth. Maybe we can't afford to stealth because of the... Uh... We still play that exactly the same, though. We do this. Because this is just way too good. It just guarantees we never have to worry about it. And then we don't stealth so that we can get through our cards faster. And as long as we don't incant too much, I think we're fine. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Right? Because you can we can kill him and incant him immediately. Then he has burnout. No, but no, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Taking seven damage. Oh, this is incanting. That's not incanting. Um, I would put endless, even though it means slightly more damage. But we're not going to play the uh, stealth yet. Because uh, we play it and we lose. Play you up front again. We bop and bop. Give you extra stats. Play this. Kill everything. Okay. We're almost, I think, to our, our buddy here. Resin removal. Echo infusion. We just kill this guy. Echo infuse you. What? How are we still not? Hold on, let's see how this is going. Train steward is still at the bottom of the deck. Um, gotta think about this. Dead. You get you one, do do, and you're getting ten armor to all units on the floor when you die, and you as well. Damn it! How? Ah. Uh. Why you gotta be this way, game? Why you gotta be this way? <sighs> oh, man. Do we buff his own? No, we don't We don't get him on himself. Oh, man. I don't know how we're going to do that. We might just not be able to. We might just lose because we can't kill those guys. Well, here's what we do. We can at least get one more 
thing out by doing this. We could play you, play you, play you, bop you out, bring you back. So you're gonna be slightly healthier every time. And we got an extra incant or an extra um, extinguish trigger. No reason to play that there. Definitely no reason to play that down there. We'll play this. We can put Endless on any one of our units. You're Endless already. We can put Endless on you as well. And we're good. Okay. Okay. Maybe now, somehow, we're doing enough damage. Um, let me think. Play you. Resin removal does not remove their spikes because it's an incant. That's an enchant. Okay, play you out again. Now we're not losing. Somehow that made the difference. Oh, my goodness. Um, that's a tough call. I'm not... Mm, I mean, both are good. Where is our other steward? Where'd he go? Oh my god, he's here. He made it. <sighs> also, crap, I played that in the wrong order. Get in there, do something. Start picking this guy down. We gotta reform now, which is a problem if we don't get a reform. Oh god. Uh, we gotta kill some things. Luckily, they're all endless, so it's not like there's no hope. Our man's coming right back, but uh, obviously not what you wanted to see. Okay, so we play this. We get... Steward down. We stealth. We get little fade out. Okay. We stealth. Echo transfer. Give you more HP. Do a nice bop here. Feel bad because we don't get little fade back right away. Doesn't even matter. Oh my God. Look at that.
What a freaking nightmare. <laughs> Last Divinity was like cakewalk until it all of a sudden got really hard all of a sudden. But like just playing optimally and then you're fine. The problem is uh, playing optimally. We unlocked another Wormkin card. Good for us.